Hi guys, it is Taurus season, so it seems to be very appropriate uh, to use this Earth Magic deck. So we are going to have that assist us in the readings. So before we just jump in into your readings, just to let you know that I still have the promotion, speed up promotion, meaning you get one level up, so you sign up for a regular reading, you get a rush reading, you sign up for rush, you get urgent, and you sign up for urgent, you get it before you finish typing. No kidding. You get it in 24 hours. So just go on cattarot.ca and find basically where I have this special list is listed under book your reading. Now, uh, second thing I have, annual telescopes are still discounted. And like it's only 10 bucks for one sign or $20 for all of the signs they can check your venus sign you can check your ascendant you can check your sun sign i generally like to lurk on the other people's mars signs to see kind of like how that's going to work out and lastly i'm taking applications for the next round of terra school which is starting may the 15th the first group is running and i'm so excited oh my gosh such a kind of lovely lovely group so I'm just seeing how this evolves. It's not going to be 10 lessons as I initially thought. It will be 11 minimum. And that's it from my announcement. So guys, hopefully also you're going to join my Facebook or Instagram or both. So you can get a daily reading or kind of like a little bit kind of learn about tarot. And I think this is enough for me. So the next is your May Terrascopes. your May tarot so what do you have you have comparison look at the bamboo look at the oak you have projections reversed and you have the master reversed and then you got a cluster spring equinox rebirth ocean ebb and flow stillness lake island solitude so where do we start Let's start from the spring equinox because this is like simply what they see as you. Like when Aries starts, spring starts, everything starts moving forward. There is the Easter bunny, there is the butterfly, there is Gaia, there is everything. This is talking about the a birth. So this is like the March 20th or 21st, which is definitely announcing your sign. So this person that you see here is a rendition of Ostara. Sometimes she's spelled Westre or Estre. She is a Germanic uh, goddess of spring. Ostara is kind of a Northern European name for Astarte, which means womb. And it is another name for Venus, which we are all familiar with, the goddess of love, passion, and creativity, right? So the holiday of Easter kind of stemmed from this goddess, right? And hence the name. And as we can see, some archetypal single symbols over here, right? So what is spring equinox basically signaling? It is signaling that this fine balance between the light and the dark is turning into the positive. This is like a really, really big development for you, right? Because finally the days are going to get longer okay I do understand this is for the northern hemisphere you guys in the south 
are exactly the opposite in terms of the calendar. But this is definitely telling you that you will be actually going through this metaphysically. There is like some kind of like renewal, right? Um, rejoicing the breath of spring. There is like also something that usually comes with spring that we all know, and this is called spring cleaning. And that's what I see over here. Comparison is so Aries. I cannot think of any other card that gives me more than this. Because we have an oak tree which takes forever to grow. It's solid and it's sturdy and it stays there. Like, I mean, it really is impressive. And then you have a bamboo that that kind of like takes forever to put the roots down. I think few years. And then when it shoots, it shoots like instantaneously. So now, do you think that oak is spending time thinking, I want to be bamboo? Because the bamboo is hollow inside and light. And this is heavy and strong. And do you think that bamboo says, eh, you know what, I'm like too weak. I have to go to the gym and just like, I mean, break my muscles. Because you guys are Aries. Aries are batting horns. Like your whole goal is to go forward. So this is the choice. This is the choice of understanding that they're like not only one path, but two paths. And each path has advantages and disadvantages. It also, it says that you can coexist with something that is not very much like you. And that you are getting to the same solution, like mathematics, that you can come to the same answer from many different kind of paths. So there is like some kind of like understanding, okay, maybe, and <laughs> Aries, check this out, maybe your way is not the only way. And when Aries become more advanced, which usually happens in the 30s and then more in 40s, like of course we are layering our life experiences to get better and better and better because you kind of like start seeing yourself, right? Initially, just like head on because you want to kind of like butt, butt your horns. But then you're kind of like looking at your own actions from the outside. So you're certainly kind of on the path to mastery. This is awesome. But there are like still issues that you need to take care of in the meantime. And absolutely, I can kind of like see here ebb and flow. What is the ebb and flow? The ocean. Uh, kind of like tides are connected to the moon. Moon is like connecting to the emotions. Just as here, sometimes what we see is not what we get. And for you, this is unacceptable. It's just like, what do you mean? Head through the door, that kind of stuff. It just keeps saying, this is just a cyclical nature. You will be meeting people who will be unreachable. You will be meeting people who are really easy to gel. There are like different combinations. Not everybody is like you. Let me just zoom this in for you so you can see the gist of this card, which kind of is very important. Look at him. Oops, am I zooming in too much? Look at him. He is actually calm and relaxed, but she sees him as angry, as sort of like spiteful, right? She is living but he sees her as a love object so you see this is kind of like understanding that sometimes we do have filters and i was actually addressing it today with this psycho bunny on my uh channel that these filters are sometimes that people don't even understand it's like contact lenses that are making you see the world differently. And it's one thing kind of like being critical, which is like bad because you're not seeking for solutions. But another thing is like going to the extreme, right? So you kind of like have to figure out that you don't have that permanent filter, that critical is still something that you can deal with. You can address it with, within you. And this is like what is definitely asking you to do that. You literally ask to go to the next phase. The master is unique card in this deck. This is like Osho. And he was like a really, really big philosopher. And he's like basically saying that mastery is not over others, which probably you'll say, yes, yes, no. The mastery is over yourself. 
So how you do this mastery? Look at this stillness and solitude. And right now you're going, screw you, Cat Darrow. I'm not doing it. It's praying. It's all action. Yeah, it's going to be quite a bit of that. No problem on that end. This is not talking so much about that. This is definitely saying that you should kind of like dedicate some time for yourself. Look at this beautiful tree on a completely, almost deserted island. And yet the light is coming through and it's growing from seemingly nothing. So this is talking about understanding that certain answers will come from the inside. Not everything is fiery. Look at this. Look at how much water you're getting. This month, it seems everything will be not as it seems. Everything will be different. You have fire sign and you will be dealing with water. Water signs will be dealing with air. Air signs will be dealing with earth and water. So it will be all like fish out of water. But this is all a good thing because then you'll be better able be able to understand these differences and how all these differences can be the same language. So let's see what else you have here. Aries. Well, Earth Kitten. So slow and steady. Again, we see the difference here. We see this little, what is this, hedgehog? You know, like the curl up in the little ball when they're scared. And the cats like to touch them and they think it's a little ball and play with them. But look at this, this exploration of something new. Exploration of something different. Just do it. Kind of like don't feel that you always have to win, that you always have to up someone. And stay away from this kind of situation. Not healthy. It is like really time to kind of like reposition. And do it slowly. No need to rush. Yes. The sun. The most optimistic card in the deck, just like that spring equinox. Maybe this is the summer equinox, but look at this. We have three kitties that are here. We have one over there. We have one over here. And then we have the kitty goddess, the sphinx cat. So you're going to be deciding who is staying, who is not staying, who you want to take it's obviously again resting it's kind of understanding sometimes that going backward is going forward how can that be you're probably asking so let's say you're in front of somebody's door and this is like that expression of you cannot see the forest from the tree because the tree is right in your face but then if you move away, then you're able to see what is around. And this is exactly what's going to happen. You will step back to understand how to move forward. Eight of Earth. Lots of grounding energy. Eight of Earth is paying attention to the details. And sort of like, really, hey, let's do stuff. Let's take kids out. Nothing big. Let's go to a park. Let's do something together. It is the card of really enjoying to do daily kind of tasks. So again, maybe you're tired of being alone and relaxing, but this is like definitely telling me that you were avoiding certain things, dealing with issues, dealing with problems. Um, it was like, uh, not now, I cannot deal with this. You are taking down my energy, that kind of stuff. And maybe this is like why it feels like, you know, like this energizer bunny, like that somebody was like holding you in a spot. And now it's the moment when you release it, it's going to go, oh, go, 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 go. You know, you're going to run out of batteries because you, again, you're going to deal with this again, but you're not going to be uh, in a such a kind of like curl up position. You are not in this fatal position anymore. Maybe you were, but there is definitely calling for you to kind of like see things at uh, things for what they are and then you have seven of fire oh, there you go so you can have a little bit Lay, let's kind of scratch it let's kind of like do some kind of action and you will be standing your ground over something which i think you do and you had now second seven like you had a seven over here the projections and you have this one so this is obviously asking you to look deep inside of you sevens are about our inner strength sevens are about realizing that we have to make choices in life 
And for you, it's asking you to learn the lesson about the choice and what others can contribute to the whole thing. It is contributing to your own mastery. <laughs> Third seven. And this one is not a good one. So you'll be dealing with everything. Almost like, okay, the last month was your birthday month. So it was celebration. And now it is going into, okay, so you have been basking in the sun. Yes, you did get now this like new charge. It's almost like somebody charged up the battery. The battery is almost like still full. But now you have to deal with everything because in the power situation, you maybe had too much energy like to kind of like have, you maybe have too much energy and you have to let certain kind of air out. But look at this. He is like using the sneaky moment to grab the little mousy and just distracted with the birds. So this is like telling you that you might be looking into, again, who has betrayed you? Who is no longer in your circle? Who is feeling relaxed with you, but you still want them on the arm's length? Maybe exploring some new friendships and closing some stuff. Because your Aries, it will be with for you like, I'll get my phone, delete, 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 off you go. Kind of like the process for you can, you can spend maybe days and days and days thinking and like sort of like, doing stuff and then it's going to be gotta gotcha this is what I'm doing so let's see the emotions yeah you're kind of like not exactly open to the new things this is talking about some kind of close down maybe you're not willing to extend yourself maybe s you feel rejected maybe mm, you wanted to go in certain direction but somebody told you I'm not this way or I don't like this in you and maybe it was a big blow up over that right in the environment is line of sky mm, it looks like people will be really upsetting you this month which i do see from the sevens as well so i guess giving that this energy kind of like you're going to have this valve that is going to let the steam out maybe this is why you'll need to compensate with sort of like grounding yourself um spending some time on your own take yourself off the technology get off the computer get off the phone get into nature very important like you're also getting the earth kitten and eight of earth kind of like put your feet on the ground and this is like hopes and fears and then having the tower reversed this is again this is like a really crucial point because this is 16 and one in six is seven so now you have one, two, is it four sevens? One, two, three, four sevens. So this is really saying right now um, that you are being pushed down the spiritual path. There was something that you have really built that is so wrong. You're not even aware of that. So this is not a good card. And it's not a good card because you cannot fix what you don't face. And you're not even facing it because you're not aware of that. So we will clarify that. So your fears are maybe kind of like how you resolve this, but you are still actually not seeing a solution. And that's why you're getting master. You have to really spend some time alone because this is really when it comes to you. And where this is going to over Earth. This is kind of like a balance. Yeah, that kind of like makes sense because it looks like it will feel like a yo-yo at times. That's why you have this ebb and flow that will be going, kind of like pushing forward and receding. The whole month is going to feel that way. But you will somehow be on top. I really think that this is going to be a big time sort of like spring cleaning. Who is staying, who is going and you really have to watch the people who can bring you stuff because people will bring stuff turmoil in your life anxiety um, they will annoy you and they might even kind of like grab something from you this kind of talks about some kind of betrayal it talks about somebody just kind of like again pushing their own agenda and not really caring about you and your feelings so let me check let me start with the seven of sky and why is this here for aries seven of sky yeah pleasure seekers and sights so 
maybe the lesson that you need to learn is that you know what like maybe it is you that you are doing certain things that other people feel they're not adequate and hence they have to grab certain things away from you there is like certainly some kind of like distancing yourself that's again that delete 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 that i see over here as well um pleasure seekers it could be good or could be a bad card in this case i think it's not good because it does talk about some kind of like overindulgence. Whether you're going to notice in somebody else, because obviously you're supposed to go inward and notice things this, this month, or you're going to notice in your surroundings in somebody else. So let me see this sea kitten. That's kind of like being emotional. That would be you guys. You know, this is made to me card of maturity. This also could mean if you're a woman, that you're with somebody who is unavailable. You're somebody who possibly is married. You're with somebody who you perceive sort of like God's gift. But it looks like there is rejection. And maybe this is why, you know, this person might actually give you some bad news this month and you will not realize what's going on or not being able to accept it. So let me see this like nine of sky over here. Look at this, the wedding and young woman. And again, I have the same thing, that somebody could be married with, or choosing somebody younger, or, you know, it could have a child, a daughter, that is not approving of relationship, or you have worries about not being accepted. You have worries of certain things not going in this direction. This also could be like, I mean, that somebody has told you that somebody will leave a relationship and they won't. So this is maybe why this is showing up. Are you sure you want to stay on this path? Because that's maybe why you are not able to see that. Because you really believe someone who is having just a good time. And that's why we see pleasure seekers. Somebody just like taking away from you what they can. So let me see the tower there. And that would make sense that somebody's juggling over here. Yeah, there you go. Somebody's not faithful and somebody's completely thoughtless. You have to see that as red flags, clearly. And two of earth. Wow. To you, it's not only losing someone, but it's losing a friend. And when you have a friend, you put deep roots and it's kind of painful over here it's kind of going to be interesting because you will experience all kinds of emotions from introspection to joy to playfulness to being guarded so it's going to be all action like nobody can say that but like you're heading toward mastery so this is kind of like really really important because it's going to be kind of guys you had your birthday let's keep going it is time to understand where you really need to be and in the meantime allow yourself to just go through the flow and understand that not everything is done right away and sometimes you move forward sometimes like you recede just like this ocean and make sure you have time for yourself you have time for your stillness you have time for your solitude because this is when the answers come so my Aries this is a general reading if you want your own reading then this is like really catering to your energy so contact me at www.katera.ca uh, and in the meantime if you haven't subscribed please do because then you get invitation to my live sessions and you can check me daily on Instagram and on Facebook and hopefully I'll see you there and lastly, come and check my school and I hope to see you there as well. Love you.